Hello everybody, welcome to the video on most frequently asked interview questions during the MBA admission process and the right approach to answer them. In this video, rather than giving you just the sample answers, I'll discuss with you the right way to approach each of these questions. Because ultimately it is your approach that helps you deal with the situations and unexpected questions also. Here's the list of questions that are covered in this video. The video will be useful to you whether you are a fresh graduate or an experienced executive seeking admission to an MBA course for advancing your career and taking up management roles. Every single part of this video is very carefully curated. So sit with a notepad and a pen to note down all the important things and make sure that you watch it completely without skipping any parts of it. Ready? Fantastic. Let's start. And here comes our first question. Tell us something about yourself. Now see, this is a question that's almost always asked at any interview. Before we begin to answer any question, the most important thing to understand is the purpose of the interview behind conducting the interview and asking that particular question. So first thing first, what is the purpose of any institute behind conducting a personal interview before the admission? See, there are two things to understand here. The first is they want to ensure that the objective of the course and the expectation of the candidate are the same. It's like a matrimonial alliance you see. The expectations of both the parties need to get fulfilled for it to be a successful relationship. Now, the second thing is they want to also ensure that the candidate is sufficiently motivated to do the course and does he have the capability to deliver the results. At the same time, they also want to ensure that the candidate is a good fit to the culture of the institute. Now answer all your questions based on this understanding. You will never go wrong. Okay, so coming back to our question, tell us something about yourself. As we know, this is most often the first question asked at any interview. The purpose is to initiate the conversation. But let me tell you, this is one of the most powerful questions because as I always say, it lets you set the tone for the complete interview. Now, there are two important things to answer it effectively. The first one is prepare well. And by preparation, I mean think, write and rehearse your answers in front of a mirror until it becomes your second habit. If you go unprepared, you will either land up reciting your life history or you won't have sufficient things to say. Both these situations will throw you out of the race. The second thing is tell something that's not written in your form or resume already, which means Go beyond your academics, college, marks, family, etc. Until and unless they can really make a big difference to your selection. So what should you include? Talk about any innovative projects you have done, community engagement, your inspirational mentors, work experience if you have any, hobbies and any extracurricular activities that you participate. For example, a sample answer for a fresh graduate can be something like, My name is Shipra Singh. I have completed my graduation in public relations. In addition to my studies, I have been a regular contributor of content to one of the famous YouTube channels in the space of promoting the culture of entrepreneurship in India. During my second and third year of graduation, I researched in various startup friendly government schemes to help with creating the content for this channel. Playing badminton is my passion. I have won various club and district level trophies for my club, school and college. So you see how Content creation and playing badminton in a structured environment sets you apart from everybody else. And now your interview is going to revolve around these two things for the next few minutes. Now, if you are a candidate with some work experience, talk about some interesting projects you did, any achievements that are worth mentioning, etc. One thing that can help you make your answers more effective is try to quantify the things. For example, if you are a digital marketing professional planning to do MBA now, you can say something like, my name is Shipra Singh. I'm a digital marketing professional with more than two years of work experience. During these two years, I have worked with various national and international clients to improve their organic traffic to their websites and blogs. Recently, I worked for a home furnishings client and increased their organic traffic by 50% in a quarter. This helped them improve their conversion rate also by 5%. So do you notice? how I quantified the traffic and the conversion rate, which further adds weight to my answer. Now, what's going to happen is for the next few minutes, 
the discussion is going to revolve around this traffic increase and strategies used, etc. Okay, now let's move on to our question number two. What is your expectation from this MBA course? Some interviewers may also pose it as, what do you think this MBA program should give you when you pass out? Now see, this is again a very important question because it tells the interviewers, why do you want to do your MBA? Many candidates want to do their MBA to get a highly paid job in a big company, an opportunity to go abroad and work, social reputation, etc. But trust me, no course can guarantee any of these things. What a course can give you is the knowledge and skills you need to become that person. An environment to be among the type of people you need to become that person. Salary, position, job in big fours, all of these are an outcome of being able to use your knowledge and skills in that environment. The interviewers want to get the candidates who have this understanding. So to answer this question sensibly, just say something like, I want to work in the field of corporate finance and I expect this program to give me in-depth knowledge, skills and strategic thinking ability which I can leverage upon to advance my career in this domain. I also expect to meet some people who already have been working in this kind of a setup and learn from their experiences while building personal and professional connect with them. Now, if you are an experienced candidate planning to do your MBA after working for some years and growth is your reason, you can say something like, after working for three years on technical projects, I have a good understanding of executing them while solving complex problems. I aspire to grow in leadership roles now and I realize that it requires a good understanding of the business side also. I want to do MBA to gain knowledge about the business growth side of the things so that I can transition easily into such roles. This kind of an answer suggests that you are a doer and not just a dreamer. Okay, now coming to a question that troubles a lot of candidates. You did your BSc or engineering. Why do you want to do MBA now? Again, a very, very important question. A lot of candidates want to do MBA just because they don't know what to do next. Through this question, the interviewers want to find out how mindfully are you making your decisions? Are you doing it with a purpose on your mind or just because you don't know what to do next? The key again is being mindful and thinking about all these things well in advance. Mindfulness doesn't help you just do well in the interviews, but also steer your life well. Some of the reasons for you to do MBA could be diversifying the skills, gaining the knowledge and advancing the career, transitioning into leadership roles, entrepreneurship aspirations, etc. Just think what is your purpose and answer the question accordingly. For example, if you are a fresh graduate from science background and you want to do MBA to diversify your skills, you can say something like, my BSc degree has given me a good perspective into science and has helped me develop my foundation skills. An MBA degree will further help me understand the business and management side of the things, which I believe will help me in working in the corporate setup. If you are already working and want to transition into leadership roles, you can say something like, my technical background has helped me solve a lot of complex problems at work and come this far in my career. However, I aspire to transition into management and leadership roles now, for which it is important to possess some business and strategic skills. I look forward to gain them with an MBA course. So do you notice, I have been honest in my answers and at the same time, I've explained my perspective well. This type of an approach increases the trust that interviewers would have in you. So as I said, the key is think in advance about all these things and practice a bit. Moving on to question number four now. Why do you want to study at RB school? Now see, the choice of college depends on a lot of factors and even the interviewers are aware of this. So rather than trying to say anything to please them, give a logical answer. It will impress them more. Some of the important factors that students and parents consider before taking admission to any college are availability of the specialization, reputation and accreditation, expertise of the faculty, teaching methodology and curriculum, extracurricular activities provided by that B school, internship and job placement scenario, reviews they have got from other students, location, then in addition to this financial considerations, accommodation and campus facilities, all of these things 
are very very important for the parents and students also so to answer this question tell about the reasons you considered while choosing this college okay so now coming to one of the examiner's favorite questions what are your short term and long term goals so first of all let's make our understanding of these short term and long term goals very clear short term goals are your goals for next 1 to 3 years while your long term goals mean your goals beyond 5 years so now as you can see yourself if you are pursuing a full time mba which is a 2 years program your short term goal will be to gain all the knowledge and the skills the course has to give you and your long term goal would be to put this knowledge and the skills to advance your career in the industry of your choice you can either do this by getting yourself a job of your interest or by starting something of your own that's your choice however the candidates who are already working and want to pursue a part time mba or an executive program now may target skill enhancement and career advancement both at one time some interviewers may also ask this question as where do you see yourself 5 years down the line take a similar approach to answer it to answer this question you can say well 5 years is a very long time and it is very difficult to put a finger on where exactly i would be which company what position or any other such things my ultimate aim is to be in xyz position and starting now i would focus on gaining the required skills and knowledge to become the type of person who is suitable for that role hopefully i'll reach my goal or somewhere near to it by then while this answer demonstrates your determination it's more realistic as it shows that you have a thinking mind on your shoulders that understands the practicality of this world okay now this next question is again examiner's favorite and the question is what is your greatest strength and weakness one question that's almost always asked in every interview because your answer to this one question is a big indicator of your self awareness and genuinity two qualities that are absolutely essential for everybody to do well in their life and career let's deal with the strengths part first before we see the sample answer here are some tips to help you with it the first thing is don't offer a strength that everybody else would also offer for example i'm very hard working i give my 100% to everything i do etc because number one they are very general and then you need to back everything up with an example if something is not real in your life you won't get the examples to them from your life the second important thing to remember is offer a strength that's relevant to mba and the career thereafter something that's absolutely unrelated won't get you any advantage and the third thing is back yourself up with examples from the past they prove that whatever you are saying has some base to it and for that to happen you'll have to take some time to think now a sample answer can be something like this effective communication skill is my biggest strength it has helped me lead various projects at my college including the publication of annual college magazine for which i needed to work and coordinate with people from various departments so you see i have said that effective communication skill is my strength but how it actually played a role in my life that is what i have explained with the help of this example of annual college magazine and that is exactly what you also have to do okay so now let's come to the weaknesses part of it here also let us see some tips before i give you a sample answer the first important thing is never in your life say i don't have any weaknesses we all are human beings and it is absolutely okay for the human beings to have their own set of weaknesses being able to recognize your weaknesses shows the high level of self awareness you have and acknowledging them demonstrates your genuinity the second important thing is don't offer a weakness that will be fatal to your selection and number 3 always tell what steps are you taking to improve upon that weakness here's a sample answer that can help you create your own answer being able to manage my time effectively is one of my weaknesses that i'm trying to improve upon i usually have many things to do on my to do list but many a times i struggle to finish all of them on time some days back i learned the importance of prioritizing the tasks I've gotten into the practice and it ensures that all the important things are finished on time and don't turn into urgent. However, I would say that still it is a work in progress. I've also started to finish off the toughest things on my list as the first thing in the morning. Because 
once such things are done, the mind feels relaxed the whole day. In addition to this, I've also learned that it is absolutely okay to be kind to yourself. If any low impact, low importance things remain unfinished on a particular day, there's no need to lose your breath for that. Just remember to finish them the next day. And that is exactly what I've started practicing now. The advantage of this kind of answer is, number one, it demonstrates your awareness and genuinity. And number two, at the same time, it demonstrates that you are proactively taking the actions to improve upon yourself, which is exactly what the interviews need to see. Okay, and now coming to the final question for today's video. What's your backup plan if you don't get admitted to an MBA program this year? Now see, whenever you appear for an entrance exam, there's always a chance of not being able to get through. There's also a chance that you get a college, but it may not be the one you aspire for. And it is important to acknowledge that this is a possibility because it helps you decide your future course of action. Your answer to this question can convey your determination and persistence, both. Two important things to convey while answering this question are, number one, you are determined, but also acknowledge that there's always chances of not coming up to your own expectations. And number two, discuss your backup plan that demonstrates your persistence and conveys your action plan that will further strengthen your candidature the next year. Basically, what strategic moves would you take to add more value to your candidature rather than compromising? A sample answer to this question can be something like, I am determined to study at XYZ Institute. I know that this college selects the best students and I have prepared myself well to face all the rounds. However, it is also important to understand that at times, things don't go with the way we want them to in life. If for any reason I am not able to get in this year, I would analyze my performance, close all the gaps and come back stronger next year. So you see how this kind of an answer showcases your maturity and understanding, which are again two factors that separate you from the crowd. So friends, with this we come to the end of this video. And I sincerely hope that whatever we have learned today will help you in cracking your MBA interview. If you found today's video useful, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends also. And if you want to stay updated with more such videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel today. I'll see you very soon with a new video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.